Hi guys, so <clears throat> what I'm doing here, this is actually my very first video, I've been playing around with it, and a lot of people ask me how to read Noah buoys, and um, I've, been surf I've been surfing since I was 10 years old, so I can give you guys an idea, and I really hope that this video will help you out understanding how to read Noah buoys. So, I'm just, I just have this link directly open, 46221 is the buoy reporting right off of Los Angeles, California. Okay? So this buoy, as you can see here, is reporting a 13-14 second swell. Now that is a combo swell. It could come in from the what you could get a combo between the north, the south, the west. So you want to get a detail on why it's 13 seconds and why is it west southwest? And why is it why is the mean wave direction 262? So you want to figure that part out. Okay, so let's go to latest news marine forecast. This link up here in the upper left hand corner. <clears throat> Scroll down a little bit to the bottom forecasting. Inner waters from Point Magoo to San Mateo and uh, Point Magoo. Yeah, for inner waters from Point Magoo to San Mateo, Santa Barbara, Catalina. This is going to tell you where the swell is coming from. So right now there's a variable of 10 knots, so that's just going to add a little bit of a chump, a little bit of, of a white cap on some of the westerly areas. So you're going to get a little bit of ripple on the ocean. It's not going to be glassy. So the wind, wind waves are 2 feet. That's going to tell you that <clears throat> you're going to get a bit of wind swell. So as the tide rises, this wind swell is going to start combining with this westerly three to five feet at 14 seconds. That's a ground swell. Okay, this ground swell is really, that's what you want to surf because that's where all the juice is coming from. But, you know, you're going to get, as the tide comes up, you're going to get this combo, so it's going to be fine. It'll be actually pretty, looks like it'll be pretty fun out there. So, based on this, and based on the current tide position, I'm going to bet First point should be one to three. First point Malibu should be one to three. So let's let's go to first point Malibu. Oh. Okay. California. Southern Con. Let's go. In California, oh, well, we get it here. We are going to get the first point report. Okay, so here you go. So the first point is going to report one to three ankle at waist high. And what I like about surfing Malibu is that it's it's inside the bay, so it's very well protected from winds. That's why it's you know the conditions of Malibu are a lot better than you would find in in the west facing beaches. Malibu is a south facing beach, so here's the south, and Malibu faces this way. And Venice and Venice and El Porto is westerly facing, so they'll be over here. Okay, so with this forecast, let's go back. Four six two two one reporting uh, westerly, two hundred sixty two degrees, fourteen seconds. Let's refresh this. Let's see, since the tide's coming up, you see the tide coming up. Let's see if this has gone a little bit more westerly. The buoys do their best. Yes, let's see, it, it just did it. So west, 267 degrees. So it's gone, it's going to probably hit 270. So it could bypass Malibu a little bit. Uh, so Topanga might be a nice bet. Topanga, Venice, Santa Monica, El Porto, uh, those spots should be a really good bet for the swell. So, 
let's go check Topanga. Actually, let's let's check um, Venice. No. Check Venice. Venice should be three to four, maybe. Yeah, two to three high, occasionally four. And that was seven o'clock this morning. So I bet you anything, right off the pier, right off uh, the break wall, could be a lot of fun for Venice right now. So if you if you guys got a chance, Dogtown could be a good spot with this westerly swell. So that's if you can if you just all you really need you don't really need surfline if you can just know how what the tide is doing i use x tide los angeles to try to get a graph of where where the tide is going an extreme tide like this you don't want to be you know this kind of sucks you don't you know you want to be in a slight tide push like this you know that's more that's a lot more fun Okay, so I really hope that this video has helped you guys out. Um, this is my very first video, and I'm not sure if I'm going to make any more, but I keep getting asked how to read Noah Buoys. So if you guys have questions, feel free to ask me. Okay, aloha, and uh, have fun out there.